Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you about some interesting uh, research that's come out associated with COVID-19 and what happens in individuals' bodies just before this, um, the really serious lung damage happens. So um, there's things called cytokines, and I'm not sure if you've been listening uh, to the news and you've heard the expression cytokine storm. Um, if you're like me and you need things visually, which I do, uh, cytokine is C-Y-T-O-K-I-N-E. So cytokines are inflammatory chemicals that your body secretes and they're they're helpful it's like you know it's just this okay there's a bad guy boom you know and and you attack it and destroy it and, and it's all done it, this has been named a cytokine storm because it, you know the cytokines come up but then they just whoa, 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 whoa. it's like you know kerosene on a fire and it's just out of control and it's destroying lung tissue and and can take certain individuals lives so um, what they're finding is is you can look at certain cytokines on the blood in the blood and uh, this is all going to a good place that you can do preventively so just just to uh, give you a little hint where i'm going here but so what they're finding is that if somebody's going to go downhill with this virus it's about day 10 of their experience with it and what they uh, so typically they're already in intensive care they're quite ill and they see a very particular cytokine it's called IL so capital I capital L dash 6 IL 6 stands for interleukin 6 you don't need to know any of that all you need to know is it's a cytokine but it starts really ramping up and that's when they know uh oh we're we're kind of in trouble now you've been hearing on the news, uh, some of these drugs, uh, hydrochloroquine, and uh, there's also one called Kevzera and Actamara, and these are all uh, drugs typically used for rheumatoid arthritis that kind of quell IL-6, okay? So they take this um, cytokine down, preventing it from, from taking off. So that's why you've been hearing about these drugs. So um, an another, more internal way that the body takes down IL-6 is with, with a pathway and a metabolic pathway. It's called NERF-2, which I remember when the, sci the science first came out about this, it's a long time ago, but it's NRF-2 and it's like, oh, like a NERF ball. But anyway, that's how you can remember it. So the NERF is good. <laughs> it suppresses the IL-6. Um, so basically it's quelling this fire. But what uh, I wanted to talk to you about today is what you can do to not let this get out of control way ahead of time. And if you tend to be a little inflammatory, how do you get this nerf pathway to kind of keep keep suppressing uh, the fire so it doesn't take off? And there are some natural ways that um, through food that you can suppress this particular, um, you can suppress the inflammation by engaging or empowering this particular pathway that keeps it under control. So a couple of foods I wanted to mention. And in the fruit category were apricots, grapefruit, and watermelon. So those are all pretty fun. Um, grapefruit is obviously in the citrus category. Citrus is known to be uh, very strong for the immune system, generally speaking. So I've been talking about citrus a lot. Uh, apricots and watermelon were particular to this particular pathway. Uh, our favorite vegetable category that wins no matter what you're talking about that's good for the body, it's anti-cancer, it boosts your immune system, it's rich in nitric oxide, and it's uh, very good for suppressing this inflammation is your cruciferous vegetables. So uh, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, kohlrabi, there's a long list. You can go online and get all the list of cruciferous vegetables, uh, but those are wonderful. Also the allium family, that's where garlic and shallots and onions and green onions and leeks are in that family, again, anti-cancer, immune booster, and very specifically affecting this pathway to keep that cytokine down. Uh, carrots were also on that list. Uh, tomatoes, uh, remember with tomatoes, to guess the best benefit from them, 
cook them. So they're rich in a specific antioxidant called lycopene, and uh, that's L-Y-C-O-P-E-N-E. And uh, they, it's just one of those interesting ones that cooked is, is more empowering than raw. And then also in the roots and spices, um, turmeric and ginger and turmeric they've done a lot of research on particularly on this pathway so this is taking supplemental forms of turmeric uh, but you can also cook with it and cook with ginger and then in the um, beverage category green tea chamomile tea and coffee so if you're a coffee fan, there you go. Something, something good about coffee as well. So uh, those are the foods that really suppress, um, suppress the bad guy, empower the good guy, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, food is medicine, and this was some very cool research that I, I thought you would enjoy today. Uh, generally speaking, I want you to yeah, definitely look at all the videos we've been putting out. There's also been a lot of blogs where I do a deeper dive into these topics. So you can visit the website, rootcausemedicalclinics.com. If you are at home and you're realizing, wow, now would be a good time. I've got some time on my hands to really get healthy because I just did a lecture to a, to a corporation remotely you know, from my office, but uh, it, was, it was an interesting question. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. So I was stating how if you have heart disease, you're 10 times more at risk for the virus. This is based on research that came out of um, a, a few of the countries that got hit early, uh, China and I believe Italy as well. Uh, but cardiovascular disease, 10 times more likely. Diabetes, three times more likely. Uh, sorry, diabetes seven times more likely, obesity three times more likely. So I was mentioning this and, and from this viewpoint, which is now is a really good time to enhance your health status. It's always a great time, but we, you know, the silver lining to this current cloud is that you have more time on your hands and why not the perfect time to say, okay, I'm gonna take the time for me. I'm gonna really optimize my health. Um, I can't remember her name, but you'll know who I'm talking about, uh, the, the, the MD, the, 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 the woman who's um, basically on the news every night, part of the White House team that's talking about uh, the, the virus and what's happening in the country. Um, and she was saying yesterday that, she said, you know, when this, we're, we're gonna get through all this, she said, but when we do, we really have to look at America's health. And I love that because it's so true. Um, you know, there's an interesting study where they evaluated just five aspects of, of, of blood tests and, and looking at tens of thousands, I think it was hundreds of thousands of Americans, and only 12.2% of Americans sort of passed the test uh, of, of health based on, on this criteria, looking at just five um, common aspects of blood. And so it is the time. There's never been a better time. And because yeah, we have this virus now, but something else is going to be on its heels. And, you know, feeling great is, is also lovely as far as your day-to-day -day energy and, and how clear your mind thinks and you get more out of every day and you enjoy life more. I mean, there's so much benefit to be said about overall health, but in the current climate of this virus and hearing that, you know, this one's here now, but there's probably going to be another one later, our best defense is a great, you know, the best offense is a great defense, and we're defending against this by really elevating our health status. So my gift to you is that if you're sitting there saying, yep, I've been putting this off for too long and now's the time, please reach out. We treat patients across the country as well as locally. We're doing all our calls uh, remotely. There are some people still coming into the clinic, but we can certainly uh, do a call over the phone. So give me a call. 408-733-0400. I'm here for you.